<laughs> okay, so now it zoomed us in too much. Right, okay, ready, ready, ready. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Okay, the trick is, instead of looking at yourself, you look oh, there. Okay, yeah. right. Okay. Otherwise, in the video, you'll look like you're looking off to the side somewhere. Right, well, um, I've been rambling on for quite some time now, <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to get started. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, I actually have friends. I know it's... It's, I know. Fan club. Big brag. Big yeah. brag. Uh, yeah, I actually have friends, and I, this is one of them. This is my best friend. One of my best friends, because you know, I uh, I do have children. So. <laughs> oh, true. I have a dog, so mm. I'm pretty fond of her. But uh, yes, this is my best friend. This is Natalie. Hey. Hi. Or hail, <laughs> Natalie. Oh. Hello. Oh, hi, oh, Natalie. You're gonna see what an absolute nightmare I am. So me and Natalie met each other. Uh, I think we were about 12. 7? 2007, so Something about like that. 11 or 12, no maybe 12, 13, I don't know, about 12. Basically, we were really, really unpopular kids and no one liked us. I mean, it's the truth. It's <laughs> very, the truth. It's a very sore subject. <laughs> <laughs> and we needed to partner up in our religious studies class and no one would partner with us because we were big losers. So we partnered with each other. Well, actually, okay. Natalie came wandering over to my desk and was like, Begged. Would you like to be my partner, please? And yes, I was like, I yes, please, I would like to be your partner. So, um, It yeah. sounds like a joke, but that is actually how no, it happened. No, that's actually how it happened. And yeah. however many years later, what year is it now? 2013. 2030! <laughs> I wish it was! Jesus! Goodbye Corona! <laughs> so it's now 2020, so that makes it uh, 13 years later, and here we are! She's in my house. Hopefully Yay. she gets stuck here, because of lockdown. Oh, hopefully. Hopefully. And then I'll be here till 2030. Mm. And the videos we'll be doing will be in 2030. I know, in 10 years time we'll be... How old am I? 80. Rude. In 10 years, not now. Oh, okay. So that well, means you're only 70. Oh, oh well, that's all right then. Cheers. This, <laughs> this intro has already been the longest intro in the world, so I'm going to jump in and tell you what it is that we're doing today. So today, we're going to play... Well, you've seen it in the title. Why are you pretending like you don't know what we're going to do? You've seen it in the title. They're that's just waiting. They're like, the hurry video. up. We're not here to hear about your life story. The people don't, they don't come here for professional videos. The people come here to watch me drink and do something stupid. They're here for the trash. They're here for the tea. <laughs> so the tea is, we have some embarrassing truth or dare questions written down, except for it's gonna be truth or drinks. So we either answer truthfully, or as truthfully as we can, or we do um, a sip of our drink, so. Yeah, but um, all of our parents watch these videos. All of them. All of them, all, all of them. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> and grandparents as well, so. And brothers, uh, sisters, some of them. nieces. I'm yeah. not gonna lie, I'm just gonna put it out there, I'm scared. In laws. Mm. We, uh, we each, we wrote down, I don't know, what, like 12? I don't know. 12 questions roughly each. Yeah, we're just gonna answer them as truthfully yeah. as we can. And if we take a sip of our drink, then, you know, just expect the worst from us. And don't message us after asking what the answer was, because. <laughs> if I'm not gonna no. tell my camera <laughs> in the confidence of my. Okay, fucking rude. <laughs> rude! Hold on a minute. Oh no, don't snooze. <laughs> then that means you're gonna go off again. <laughs> oh, we're so professional here, Hello. guys. Alright, nobody loves right, us. Well. Okay, goodbye. Fuck me, I guess. Okay. Goodbye, useless £80 a month phone. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're just gonna start pulling questions and uh, answering them for you guys. As that is. No, maybe not. Or not? <laughs> okay. okay. I'm gonna That's go first. Okay. Okay. So we have all the questions written down and um, mixed up here. Like a dip. So now, I know I don't want to answer some of these. <laughs> so do I, I was writing them down and I was thinking I have to answer these as well. I don't know why I'm still writing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first question. Oh God. <laughs> Have you ever had a threesome? I actually haven't, so I'm quite happy to put it out there. I haven't. Aura, have you? Or would you like to take a drink instead? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, actually, Natalie, she's just a bit thirsty. It's not that she doesn't want to answer, but she's just thirsty. Just very thirsty. Thirsty. Mm -hmm. That is one of the words that we would use to describe you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you're wondering, I'm drinking an Archers and Lemonade, because I'm an old lady. And Natalie's drinking a gin and lemonade. Because mm. she's slightly less old. Okay. Hey, I'm scared. 
I was going to say maybe we'd be learning something about each other today, but I don't think we would. I think no. we know everything about each We're other. We just already. let the internet know what absolute knobs we are. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> what is the strangest dream you've ever had? <laughs> <laughs> I already know what yours is. Um. Oh. Okay. The strangest dream I ever had. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I can say that on. <laughs> you go first, because I'm going to try and figure out a way to word this. In. <laughs> what do you think is the strangest one? The moth? Oh uh, no, the, the strangest no. Oh, uh, the tiger. Yes, the tiger. Tell everyone about the tiger dream. So when we were in year ten, we had a horrible, evil gremlin of a teacher. This wasn't my baby, Mr. Hodgson, who I love. It wasn't. No, yeah. he was called Mr. What should we call him? We won't call him by his real name. Just no, uh, his name is Mr. Dickhead. Yeah. And Mr. Dickhead <laughs> really didn't like me, and I really didn't like him for that same reason. But one night I went to sleep and I had a semi-sexual dream <laughs> i suppose it was sort of sexual because he was naked however he was naked riding a purple tiger um he's riding the purple tiger through the jungle and the the tiger was like jumping over things so as he was jumping this is mr cool oh <laughs> mr dickhead was um jumping with it so you could see his naked body on the purple tiger rippling in the breeze so rippling because he was quite old he was a bit wrinkly a bit saggy just a little bit yeah mm. and then someone told him that i had that dream about him as well and then i got pulled out of class and told that that was inappropriate it wasn't appropriate i not think i should be having dreams like that about him not that uh, one or two i mean my strangest dream was probably about mr hodgson hi if you're out there somewhere <laughs> like just, you know, slide into my DM, Hodge, you know? <laughs> really. Hodge. Especially when you hear this dream. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream uh, once, and this was while I was at school, and his students, so it's completely inappropriate. But here we go. <laughs> Apparently I want the whole internet to know. I had a dream that he called me uh, into his classroom to do some extra work. Extra curricular activities. And it ended up um, with things being done to other people <laughs> naked on his desk. So there you go. That's a strange dream I've had. Also, hi mum. <laughs> if you're watching this, big shout out to Shazmo. <laughs> big up Shazmo. Shut up. <laughs> Can you do the Come on. Oh, is it my go? Okay. Ooh. No, it's not. It's my go. I was just testing you. <laughs> I just had about eight chins then. <laughs> Have you ever lied to get out of a date? Um. I probably have. I can't remember anything specific, <laughs> but I think I probably have. Like I've said things like, oh, I'm in the hospital or something like that. Like it sounds like a catfish, doesn't it? Like, can we meet up? Oh, no, sorry, I died. <laughs> this is Laura's dad and it's very traumatic. <laughs> so if you could please back up while we're grieving. No, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have lied to get out of a date, but I can't remember specifics. I lied you? while I was on a date to leave. <laughs> by telling them that your house was on fire. Because oh I God. thought, well, I can't say my house is on fire, otherwise I'm going to have to really panic. <laughs> and I can't fake a lot. So he obviously knows I was lying anyway. But I was like, oh no, Laura's house is on fire. <laughs> and he didn't believe me, but you would text me. So I was like, look, her house is on fire. He was like, her house is on fire, but she's texted you. I was like, yep, it would just like that. Well, do you remember that one time when my microbe was on fire and the first thing I did was tweet about it. <laughs> so, that sounds like you. I tweeted and went, oh, my microbe is on fire. And <laughs> I got a reply from someone saying, why are you on Twitter? <laughs> Funny. Because <laughs> lol. Oh my nice God, one. I shouldn't be drinking. I shouldn't be drinking when I'm not. I know, because yeah. meh. Have you ever peed yourself as an adult? The question that I'm going to ask here is at what age classifies uh, as an adult? Uh, 18 and above. No. No. Yeah. Yes. When? Why? Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was just really drunk and I peed myself. I wet myself once while I was walking home from school, so then I wasn't an adult. But you oh, know, okay. the closer you get to the toilet, yeah. the more you can't hold it yeah. in. And I wet myself basically outside the toilet. Yeah, I... Don't know what I admit to that, I didn't even need to. I basically wet myself on the way to the toilet when yeah, I was Yeah, that's what happens. Like, literally, you're like, so close, yeah, so far. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> She'll go. I pulled the last. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. The liar. The liar. You had to drink. Oh, I'm, okay. I think Natalie's a bit worried about me because this morning, <laughs> at like half nine in the morning, Natalie, do you want a cup of coffee? Yeah, sure. Cool. Do you want some Bailey's in it? I said, no, I think I'm all right. She said, are you sure? I was like, oh, I feel like you're threatening me now. <laughs> okay. Put it in. Put it in slowly. <laughs> We're talking about coffee. Stop being rude. <laughs> okay, next question. 
Have you ever had sex with someone you didn't like? Um, yes. All of my ex-boyfriends, really. <laughs> yeah. So. I always, like, stay with people until I literally fucking despise them. So, <laughs> pretty sure most of them at some point. <laughs> and I stay with people until they despise me. So it's mutual <laughs> in my case. So, yeah, I have. I have. And, um, yeah. I didn't hate them at first, but definitely by the end, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not our fault, okay, especially not, Natalie. We've just got big hearts. It's not our fault that people pretend to be normal when oh we meet God. them. Honestly, my life is like a bloody... Soap opera. It is. Yeah. What is the most drunk you've ever been? Oh, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> there was this one time at band camp. No, there was this one time um, it was at Rebecca's hen party. I went out with Derek's sister and I got so drunk at this bloody hen party that on the way home, I was like, Derek, I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be sick. And he was like, okay, let me pull over. I was like, no babe, it's all right. And I rolled down the window. <laughs> I say rolled, oh, I didn't roll down the window because it was a year ago, which was 2019, <laughs> when cars have automatic windows. Just winding for the just life, winded, my dear yeah. life. And uh, I just stuck my head out of the car window, uh, or I thought I did. And I thought I vomited all down the outside of the car as it was driving along, but I vomited inside the car as we were driving mm, along. Delicious. And I was so drunk that when we got to the house, I got I just stumbled out the car and I was like, bye, bye, Derek. And I just <laughs> went straight up to bed and left him downstairs to clean all my sick out of the car because I'm a horrible Luckily, person. He really loved you. Oh, yeah, well. I really loved you. Well, I still live here, so. Mm. What about you? In Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> We met some, I think they were Geordie or something like that. They were Why I? Northern lads. And we were playing a game called Cocktail Roulette, or at least I thought we we were playing a game of Cocktail Roulette. Yeah. But it was actually was just them picking cocktails and me drinking them. <laughs> uh, they started at 10 a.m. and it went on until 5 p.m. And then they said, right, everyone out of the pool. And I was like, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> trying. We're struggling. I tried to climb out of the pool about three times. Couldn't get out. Was too drunk. Kept falling back in like a whale and then it had to be fished out of the pool when i went to mexico people were getting so drunk at the pool bar that they had to get fished out of the pool and then wheelchaired back to their rooms that i didn't get wheelchaired i managed to somehow get back to my room it wasn't in a wheelchair but i did have to be fished out of the pool and then my friend at the time oh tea <laughs> oh. That, he, she, who shall not be named, um, did my hair and makeup for me because I begged her to. And then I said afterwards, I'm just going to have a quick nap. She wasn't impressed. She was like, are you taking the piss? I have spent hours. I was like, look, person, I'm just going to be not long. Janice. Not nap. <laughs> Janice. And then I fell asleep from 5pm till 5am. And I woke up and I was like, yeah, we'll go party. Yeah, let's go. And then I looked and she was next to me and it was 5am. At least we've grown up. I know. Well. Well. Then the next day she was like, no drinking at 10am. I was like, oh, you're kind of killing my vibe here, Janice. Damn it, Janice. <laughs> I'm confused. Oh, that's my go. Oh, God. Oh. I'm very confused. Oh, God. Favourite sex position? Oh, we don't have sex. Uh, I, I, me and Derek aren't married, what so we've never done that. What is I just shield thine ears. <laughs> I don't want to know. Well, when that happens, when that special time where a mummy and daddy giraffe love each other very much, okay. when I beat that guy, and that that happens, then I might come back to you with my favourite. Oh, okay. Right, but I don't until keep, that time, I don't want to keep harping on about Mr. Hodgson. Hi, baby. <laughs> How are you? Uh, when yeah. I was uh, in one of his lessons, I was about fifteen or sixteen, and <laughs> and we had like year sixes, so like primary school kids coming to the school to visit, and they wanted to come visit this classroom because it was a classroom on a farm. Our school had a farm. And these kids, they were there about springtime and there were loads of lambs like bouncing around. And the kids were like so in love with the lambs. And then one of them said to Mr. Hodgson, excuse me, how are lambs made? <laughs> and Mr. Hodgson just went, well, when a mummy sheep and a daddy sheep love each other very much. And I was literally behind this kid going, <laughs> like, you're my favorite teacher. You cannot get fired. No. And he just went, they stand next to each other and a, a baby is formed. Ah. <laughs> and you know what? I still believe him. I think that's how babies are made. No, they're not. Stalks drop them off. Oh, yeah. A little package. Yeah. And then you go, no, nah, I don't like that one, sorry. <laughs> no, that one's ugly. Send it back. How long do you have to leave it on the doorstep before you take it back? <laughs> oh, God. Right, your turn. I thought you just opened one. And we just answered it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, fair point. Yeah. All right, don't yeah. check the messenger. Ah, ah. <laughs> Who 
was your first? Oh, <laughs> who was your first celebrity crush? Oh my god, probably Gareth Gates. He uh, said first. I was probably like, uh, like eight or nine, and Gareth Gates had just come second in uh, Pop Idol. Oh. He was robbed, basically. And yeah, he was my first ever celebrity crush. Mm. What about you? Either Charlie from Busted. Ah, oh, yeah, he's cute. Or Jesse McCartney. Oh, cute. Um, but now we look at them both, and I think, wow, well, this explains a lot. <laughs> but after a few years of being with anyone, I'm like, Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make it stop. Was I blind? Or just stupid? <laughs> I know when they're mine because they're the skinny ones and I know that they're going to be just pure filth. Look, like, it's not my fault my writing's fat, oh. okay? It's trying to diet. This one's not too bad. What's the worst thing you've ever done? That's not too bad. Mm. Oh, okay. Wait, is, is the worst thing you've ever done the thing that I'm thinking of? <laughs> What's the worst thing I've ever done? I don't know. I'm quite proud of all the things that I do, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think you are. Not all of them. Oh yeah, no, I remember one. I'm going into that. <laughs> We're not going to oh. talk about that on the internet. Oh hell no. Probably because they might watch my videos. So. Oh, the person. Uh huh. Persons. Person. Person. <laughs> Is it my turn? Yes, it's your turn. Oh, okay. I don't like this game. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever faked it with someone? I'm yes. Just gonna say yes. Yeah. <laughs> So let's go into details. Yes. <laughs> I will go into details. Um, Ex-boyfriends. So there you go. Big shout out to Pete, by the way. Hi. <laughs> Pete. Your dad. Oh, dad. <laughs> no, that makes he it sound like sex with my dad. Oh, I just mean that he might watch this. He might be delighted to know that. Oh, well. <laughs> Too late now. I hope my ex-boyfriends are watching. I hope you know that was aimed at you guys. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Yep. To my guy. Okay. To me. To you. I know. Shame one of them's dead. I wish I was him. <laughs> oh my god, did you? <laughs> my kids up. Oh god, I'm crying. What's going on with my hair? <laughs> Gold. Oh god, one thing <laughs> that no one knows about you. Is that not because we don't want people to know this? I don't know. I tell everyone everything, like even my most embarrassing things. I don't know what people don't know about me. I'm a pretty open book. Yeah, me too. Um, what, what don't you guys know about me? They don't know about your third nipple. Oh, well they do now, don't they? <laughs> she was joking, by the way, I don't have a third nipple. I, I forget you can see me. <laughs> Um, I don't actually think there is anything. No, really. I don't think there is anything that anyone doesn't Maybe know. Maybe that I'm half Norwegian, but a lot of oh, people know that. A lot of people do know that. They might not know that though. No. But now you can know. Can you think of anything that... Maybe about your sisters. Yeah, they do. I already mentioned that. So, then no, I can't think not. of anything that no one doesn't know about me. No. Um, so I'm going to take a drink for a forfeit because I couldn't think of a good answer for yeah, you. Yeah, you suck. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, you suck. <laughs> what are you, a meme? <laughs> right, so you're a go. <laughs> Why are these all yours? One thing you would never do for all the money in the world. Oh. Be with someone, like for money oh. or fame or... Leave Derek, I'd never leave Derek for anything in the world. Could you imagine if someone randomly popped up and was like, I will give you seven billion dollars to stay away from Derek. That would be weird. And I'd be like, sorry, I need to, to at least be... 7.5 billion. Yeah, I don't. I could never be with someone. Money. No. No, neither could I. Like Simon, Although there are a lot Simon of people Cowell. who think that you can. Yeah, there are. I don't think anyone could really do that. I think that's... But well, Simon Cowell came up to me and was like, Hey, baby. I'd say, look, that mate, more. you look like a foot. I'd like, we could be back. friends, if you want. We'll be friends. Yeah, like, I'd, I'd, I'd like... I'd, I'd like to know, borrow, borrow with you sometimes. Or something. Yeah. I'd read old men's stories for money, maybe. Sounds like a weird there's fetish, doesn't it? Out there. <laughs> so if there's any old men out there watching and you want Natalie to read a story to you, then... Uh... Well, I can sing you nursery rhymes. Or... That's about it, really. Not offering anything else. No. Moving on. Nada. Okay. 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 Have you ever faked an illness to get out of something? Yes, school. Yeah. Many times. I even went to the trouble of making my own fake sick. Really? Yeah, which I did. With what did you make? With custard creams and orange squash. <gasps> I used to crush them out. These custard creams crush them out. Did you not smell like of custard creams and orange squash? Yeah, but my dad, like, that's what I lived on. <laughs> okay. 
But look, I'm a I'm d- deprived child, Dad. So you feed me. <laughs> yeah, I know it looks like custard creams and orange juice every time, but maybe if you fed me a varied diet, Dad. Obviously, <laughs> did, but. But like, Hey-o. if you if you like, make sure I wasn't sneaking snacks out the cupboards at yeah. all hours, Dad. But I did. I used to make my own stick and everything. He didn't believe me. But I was like, well, the proof's there. Look at it. Look at my stick. Hmm. Perfectly positioned on the bed. In a, <laughs> in a message spelling out help. I'm sick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, many yeah. times. Yeah. And also uh, when I don't want to go like out on a night out or something. Have you ever done that to me? No. Only with people like um, she who must not be named. Which one? <laughs> uh, the, the one. with an E. Yeah. 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 Eugene. We're looking at yeah, you. Yeah, Eugene. <laughs> okay. I'm scared. I know which ones I've written down, they haven't come out yet. <laughs> Have you ever peed in the shower? Oh yeah, obviously. Every like, time? Every time I'm in the shower. If I need a wee, I just go. <laughs> yeah, sometimes if I need a wee, I'm like, I'll wait till I'm in the shower. I know. Yeah, if I need a wee and shower at the same time, I just think, well, we'll just do it together. Yeah, save time. Save time. Also more satisfying. It is actually, because then you don't have to wipe. Yeah, exactly. And you're standing wiping. up anyway, so you, t- you yeah. feel a bit like, I don't know. What's the word? Feel a bit more like a man, so you know, a bit yeah. less like a second-hand citizen. Feel a bit empowered, you know? yeah. yeah. I feel like I might matter. Yeah, I feel like my I opinion might get is equal valued. pay! <laughs> Shots fired. I remember I said to someone before on a date that I peed in the shower and he was horrified. I think he actually wanted to leave, I was like... Oh my god, what? Oh. He was like, yeah, but you piss on your leg, and I was like, yeah, and then the water washed it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you pee, you're basically peeing on your own penis, so... Basically, <laughs> golden shower in myself. Have you ever cheated on anyone? Nope. 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 Well, that, Been cheated on before though. A few times. I know. I know. Yeah. Fuck it sucks. Yeah. I Actually, mean. it doesn't really because then you're like, oh, you're a dick. That's who you really are. Okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks for showing you true colours. Yeah. Mm. Demon. Why are you joking? What's nasty. that lie? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm just nasty. Have you, ever, <laughs> have you ever fancied a cartoon character? Yeah. I actually haven't. I mean, However, both of my stepsisters did. The first one wasn't too weird because she fancied Millhouse. Actually, that's quite that's weird. That's quite weird. But it's not as weird as the next one. So she fancied Millhouse, and then my younger stepsister was like, "Show who I fancy." Aslan the lion. Okay. Uh, mm. I don't think we should judge her too harshly, though, Natalie. It's a bloody lion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, uh, my cartoon crush was Simba from The Lion King, who I now have tattooed on my wrist. Nice. So. Oh well. <laughs> Let's say that. Jesus. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, so I fancied uh, Simba, the lion. Not as a lion cub, you know, as a grown up lion. I'm not a sicko. <laughs> no. Not a sicko. Not Did a you wish you were Nala? No. Just... I was like, oh, if he was a human, I bet he'd be a fit human. You know? Mm, yeah. But really... then I found out uh, he was, he's voiced by Matthew Broderick or something, and, and he's not an attractive human, so it kind of ruined it for me, really. Mm. Awful. Awful. Right. On we're probably doing Ugh. this and we're probably doing like you picked it and then I picked it and they're probably watching this like what are you doing <laughs> if we me- if we messed up the turns at all let us know okay no, don't keep it to yourself you demons I'm gonna get my drink ready for this one I think you might want to as well well okay then what age did you lose your virginity <laughs> moving swiftly on not that it was bad <laughs> why are you looking at me like that it wasn't was it I don't know what was it? Remind me. <laughs> Fuck off. Remind oh my me. god, I had about eight chins. Tell me. Get your head away from my head. Where are life be your camera? Yeah, no, it's just not something that I'm on my granddad to. I just don't think it's um something that Last uh, thing you googled. Know. Last thing I googled? I don't know, give me my phone. Oh god. Oh, I think I know I what it is. I don't think mine was interesting. They normally are. I normally Google things like do fish fall in love? <laughs> oh, the last thing I googled was questions. So that doesn't really count. No. So the last thing before that... How do I find what... My... <laughs> the last thing before that... Common assault, ABH, GBH. What are the differences? I wonder why. Oh, the last thing I googled was Sylvanian <laughs> families shops. <laughs> I'm not really surprised considering we're surrounded by them. I love Sylvanian families so she much. She I do. They just bring so much light into I love the way life. yours is so like cute and innocent, like Sylvanian families, and mine's like assault, ABH, GBH. <laughs> well, they're all about it. <laughs> I swear I just did one. No, that was me. Have you ever done. Why? Have you ever done something illegal? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, just leave it there. Can I leave it there? Oh, I can leave it there. I can just say that I got arrested, was in a cell all night, cried like a baby, got put on suicide watch. There you that go. Was fun. That was fun. I had a man in my cell. 
I was like, I need to pee, can you leave? He was like, I'm not allowed to leave you on suicide watch. I was like, I just need to leave. But he yeah. wasn't allowed to leave, so he was, he was in my cell while I weed. There you go. I got stage right. <laughs> DJ, pick your next quick child. Which one of my exes would you date if you had to? And I'll answer. Your exes, <laughs> if I had to date one, I'd date Nathan because he was the least weird. He was, and I still feel bad for the reason that I left him because it was a bit harsh, really. Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a terrible reason to break I up mean, with he someone. Was, he was weird anyway, but like I used to just watch him when he was asleep and think, your face really winds me up. <laughs> um, oh, um, which one of your exes? Oh no, it's a shit show, isn't it? Who would mm. you pick? I'm just gonna have to go with Jamie, like from primary school. Oh, he so was so good. He's like, he was primary school, so he can't have done anything that bad. So no, he didn't. And uh, the adult and he ones. broke up with me after six days, and I was heartbroken. But there you go. Yeah, so at least then I'd be heartbroken quickly, and I could just heal from it. Yeah, exactly. Unlike yeah. the demons, the other demons. Oh, yeah. oh no! Burning hell, demons! <laughs> I fell into the burning ring of fire. <laughs> Went down, oh, down, you're like this down. one. Get your drink ready, girl. <laughs> Do you have any weird fetishes, Laura? Depends what you define as weird, doesn't it? Okay. It's Do very you have subjective. any fetishes? <laughs> Get out. I do not. Laura? Do you not have any? Any? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Why are you going about that? Just eyeballing you, that's all. I'm interested to know what yours are now. You don't think they're weird? <laughs> Try them. Try to do this one handed. It's not. What is one thing you're glad your parents <laughs> don't know about you? <laughs> I think some of the things that my parents don't know about me, your dad knows about me because of you. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Turn yeah. in the tea. I love it. I'm like, Dad, sit down. He's like, do I want to know? No, probably not, but you're going to find out today, Colin. <laughs> I have to know, Dad, so do you. I just can't believe when I was talking to him about that place. Oh yeah. That place. And I didn't name it by name because I didn't want him to think that I knew too much about it. And he went, oh yeah. And then so named and so. it. So and so. And I was like, we both looked at each other like, how do you know about that? He was like, how do you, <laughs> Wait, know, how do you know about that? Know. He was like, how do you know about that? I was like, from Laura. And he was like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I was like, yeah. That you really sickened me, Dad. <laughs> what is your worst habit? Oh, I have so many. <laughs> Peeing in the shower a habit? I don't really think it's a bad one. No. I think it basically saves time and water. Yeah. Basically saving and the toilet earth. roll. Yeah, exactly. Oh. So we're basically saving the world. I think that's my worst habit. What, peeing in the shower? Yeah. I don't know what mine is. Oh, I, I burp a lot and I don't like cover my mouth. I just burp. And if I'm near Derek, I burp and then blow it at him. I think that's probably mine, but it's because I'm not very gassy and I don't burp a lot. So when I do burp, it's always a surprise that's normally in someone's face. <laughs> I'm not expecting it. Like, you know, when I was laughing earlier, my throat was like gurgling. I was like, <laughs> yeah, so I normally don't expect to do it and then it'll just come out. Mm. I see. I just like to burp in people's faces, really. Yeah, me too. It's just fun. It's funny, isn't it? Can't do it at the moment, though. Coronavirus. Oh. Right. Let's get it, Boris. Why did your last relationship break down? Uh, well, he cheated on me, so there you go. And mine was just because he was a massive dickhead and he cared more about his quit than anything else in the world. He did, he cared more about his hair. Wait, I remember, honestly, someone, this was after we broke up, they went out for drinks and whatever else. Just like, they just went out. And he made them take him home in the morning so he could blow dry his hair before they went back out. Pretty grown man. 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 Man bear pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was just a dick, basically. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah. yeah. What is your most embarrassing moment? Absolutely not. No, I'll tell you off camera because I don't know if you've heard this story. I think mine was probably when I broke my nose in front of my boyfriend at the time <laughs> when I was drunk and I tripped into his garden fence. Broke my nose at midday, might I add, because this was the morning after a night out. He was still asleep, so I went downstairs because I was bored. And then his brother and some of their friends were playing like a drinking game. They was like, all right, Nat, get involved, lad. You're one of the lads. So I was like, oh, yeah, I am one of the lads. So I was like, fine. Lads, on, then. lads, lads. In my defence, I hadn't looked at the time. I didn't realise it was half nine in the morning. Oh. I assumed it must have been later because they were drinking. No, these people are animals. So, Such yeah, gremlins. we were playing this pink elephant game. Oh. Pink elephant, red, I don't know what it was called, but it was shit. And I was bad at it because it was a tongue twister. Oh. As we know, I have a lisp. So it wasn't very good. And 
Yeah, as they were leaving to go and watch football, I tripped over. Didn't put my hands up, face first into the fence, broke my nose. Then I had to go to the hospital and explain to them that I'd broken my nose. Day drinking, and the nurse said, what time did this happen? I said 12. She was like, oh, midnight last night. I was like, no, no. love, it's in like half an hour ago, 12 o'clock <laughs> your day. And she looked at me horrified. She was like, you know the NHS is stretched. I was like, oh, I know. I Wait, know. I didn't mean to do it. Anita, I am sorry. <laughs> I will go to rehab. <laughs> Yeah, so it was double embarrassing. Oh, that might be your one. Yeah. Go on then. Right, we're on the last question, ladies and gents, boys They're and girls. Like, Thank God, you two are monsters. Guys, gals, non-binary pals, we Aliens. are on the last question. I kind of already oh, answered God's this. Sake. Yeah, you did, actually. Have you ever had a sex dream about a teacher? No. Yes, sir, Mr. Hodge, sir. You know what? <laughs> Oi, what's his name, Matthew? Yeah, Matthew Hodgson. Oi, Matthew. Matthew. You are, baby. I'm still thinking of you. I don't, oh, actually, maybe Mr. Trigwell. Oh, Mr. Trigwell was so cute. He had cute. such curly hair. I was like, oh. I'd love to ruffle your curls. He was so cute. He was cute, yeah. But no one can beat my baby Hodge. <laughs> baby Hodge. Every now and again, I just have another dream about him, and I'm just like, he's still living in my head rent free. Good to know. Good to know. Mm. Yeah, no, probably not. Maybe Mr. Trigwell. Not that I remember, oh. but he was, a, he was a bit of all right. And Mr. 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 C. Who the hell is Mr. No. That doesn't count. It wasn't a sex dream. He was riding naked on a purple tiger. I think I must have accidentally eaten some magic mushrooms with my dinner that night. <laughs> yeah, you just Dad, didn't... where did you get these mushrooms from? They're on my dinner. So I think they're funky. From the park. Like well, the was... Super Mario ones. <laughs> <laughs> the ones with the little faces. I know, I think, Dad, you messed up there. A A Ron. <laughs> a Ron. Right, well, that's all the questions. Oh, yeah, I was actually pretty truthful. Look at this. I've still got quite a lot left. Yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't. Because <laughs> I'm almost bit. completely dry. Bit. Well, to be fair, most things, most people know about me anyway, because I'm a blabbermouth. And I have absolutely no shame. So. Yeah, so. Yeah. The only things I don't like to talk about are the things I don't want my dad to know about, which isn't a lot. But those things will never be on earth, ever. Well, once the camera goes off, then we'll talk about it. But yeah. Talk about the tea. Yeah. Don't you wish you were a fly on the wall? Wasn't that a Miley Cyrus song? Isn't that wrecking ball? What? No. It's, don't you wish that you could be a fly on the wall? A creepy little sneaky little fly on the wall. Or something like that, I swear it is. Miley Cyrus sang that. Yeah, no, it was like when she just gave up Hannah Montana. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. When she, when took she was still sane. And she's like, I'm Hannah Montana. <laughs> And it was like, oh, I never you know knew. My dad used to be like, he used to get the he used to like, how do they not know? Look at her. Look, look at her. <laughs> it's the same person. Hannah, Miley, look, we know you're gay. I was like, dad, calm down. This is Disney Channel. We don't get angry here, okay? Colin, sit you back know down. what used to really annoy me? You know, um, Aladdin, <laughs> where like, he was just wearing different clothes and everyone was like, oh my God, who are you? <laughs> it's like, it's the same guy. He's just wearing different clothes. Basically Hannah Montana. Yeah. Like, you've never seen them in the, in the same room at the same time, have you? You've never seen me and Batman in the same room at the same time. What's that, Yeah, but I have a lot of doubts about you as a human being. I'm offended, but it's the end of the video. So, um, thank you for watching. So I now hopefully... we're going to go beat each other up. <laughs> Pretty much. Hopefully you had fun. I had fun. Did you have fun? No. Oh, well, at least one of us had fun. <laughs> um, you know what to do. You can like this video. You can subscribe. You can ring the bell. You can leave me a comment. Only if you want to, though. Like, If you put a thumbs down, I will hunt you down. Yes, you will. Don't know where from. Depends on where I am all the time. Yeah. But no stress. You know, like, no pressure. Yeah. Like, if you don't like it, that's fine. Just don't do anything about it. <laughs> now he's very protective of me, and rightly so, because I am a teddy bear. Say whatever you want about her. Look, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, okay? <laughs> Brute. Jackie, the only bad comments are going to be like, Laura, who's that weirdo in your video? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to get comments from guys like, all right, love, who's the brunette? All right, love, why she got eight chins? <laughs> what diet is she on? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, so yeah, I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. And we're going to go get pissed. Yeah, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.